Hey friend, in this video, we are gonna paint some fun art prints. They're not prints because they're originals, but kind of going off of the like, hanging prints in your house fun look. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, I'm gonna show you two very simple abstract. We're gonna paint a sunset and we're gonna paint an abstract rain wobbly rainbow. I'm gonna show you my approach for choosing color palettes for the home and give you some insight on licensing and trend forecasting direction and how I choose color palettes for that, for creating new prints. Um, and these type of paintings might surprise you. They're so simple, but really cute and really fun. So let's dive in. Okay, so for a simple art print type of painting. Um, I love doing these suns, abstract suns setting over the ocean. Um, so I'm going to mix up a clay color for the sun. What makes this really um, unique or perfect for the home is just like the colors that you're using. We're using very basic shapes and strokes for the actual artwork, but the colors together is what really draws people's eyes in. So like a clay colored sun with like a pink, uh, peachy undertone. So I'm using yellow ochre and opera rose for it. It's going to be a really nice contrast against a smoky blue for the ocean. I'm going for a California sunset vibe. So really earthy tones. So I'm gonna eyeball center. I've got a half inch stroke brush from the Princeton Aqua Elite series. You can definitely use a round brush if you if you if that's all you have, you don't have a flat brush like this. Um, for the sun, it'll be very easy with a round brush, but I'm using a flat brush for the waves that we're gonna do. Um, so I'm just gonna use it for both. So what I'm gonna do if I have a flat brush and then same thing with the round brush is I'm just going to start with outlining the sun and just using my fingers. As you can see, my fingers are swirling the brush around. So I'm not up here going like this. That's gonna make for a really shaky stroke. You could leave the sun kind of awkward shaped like this. That's a really fun look, or you can clean it up. I think I'm gonna leave it kind of awkward shaped. I like I like the way it looks. It's kind of like an egg shape. Um, imperfect is really cute these days. Minimal, imperfect. Um, then from here, I'm thinking cobalt blue with some burnt umber and Mars black, but we'll see once I mix up the color, if I'm still liking it against this peachy clay color. So cobalt blue. Burnt Umber, Mars Black. It's pretty nice. I might start more smoky, and then as I get further down, I'm gonna do about five different strokes. Once I get further down, maybe I'll gradually add more cobalt for it to get more blue. Actually, let's see adding Prussian blue. Yeah, that's nice. and a little bit of cobalt turquoise. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of eyeball right under the sun. I'm just gonna, with little to no pressure and a slanted hold, bring a stroke across. And these strokes are acting like the waves in the ocean. So I'm gonna get a little bit lighter by washing off some of the pigment from my brush here. And maybe more blue cobalt. Lighten it up. Go about, you're just eyeballing here. Adding more cobalt, grabbing more water. I'm 
grabbing more cobalt and water. And one more stroke, mostly water and a touch of color. Now that I'm looking at this, I kind of want these waves to be brighter. So I'm going to go back over this one with cobalt. And that's nice. It's like a gradient. Ombre. Maybe more cobalt and Prussian blue for the top one. So orange and blue are contrasting colors. So this isn't a yellow sun, this is an orangey sun. So I wanted some fun contrast between the waves and the sun. Simple, totally frameable. I think it's awesome. Reminds me of California. 1950s surf town, California. Next piece we're gonna do is just a big old wobbly rainbow. These have been a jam of mine recently. I've been painting a lot of rainbows for some baby license product licensing jobs for playroom products. And rainbows have been in the rotation quite a lot and in more natural tones. So like shale greens, um, soil color, rock colors, um, golden bohemian colors. Uh, the year is 2021. We just came out of the year 2020, which I don't have to explain too much of how that year went. Um, but a lot of people spend a lot of time at home and they, a lot of people are wanting to bring the outdoors in. And so just with trend forecasting and, uh, talking about art that's popular for going in home, a lot of natural tones, a lot of earthy tones. So I'm going to mix up some burnt umber with some sap green for a really natural shale green look for one of my colors for the rainbow. I'm going to contrast that with a clay color similar to the sun color that I just mixed up, but maybe with a little more brick in it. So I've got Scarlet Lake, yellow ochre, cadmium orange, and then some burnt umber is gonna be added to it too. So it's like a brick clay color. So red and green are contrasting colors. We have a shale green and then this brick red so I want to offset that just a little bit. So I'm going to do more golden tones. I'm going to do a yellow, lemon yellow deep with just a touch of, what's it called? Yellow ochre. In here. So we've got the yellow ochre and lemon yellow deep. We got our brick red, our shale green and maybe also a blue, but it might just be a three stroke rainbow. And I'm gonna make it into a wobbly rainbow because these are really fun and it just is a way to mix it up. More red, maybe a touch black. Okay, I'm gonna start with green as my outside color. We're not painting a traditional rainbow, Roy G. Biv, obviously, so there's no rules. And this is what's gonna draw people's eyes into the piece is that it's different, it's eye-catching. I'm adding some cobalt blue to my shale green because cobalt blue has a warm undertone, so it's gonna mute it and make it like a softer kind of misty green. So I've got my half inch stroke brush again from Aqua Elite series from Princeton. And I'm gonna start out wide. I'm just eyeballing kind of the center, but again, imperfection is totally welcome these days. 
in terms of art prints in the style. So I'm gonna kind of hold my brush up high at about a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna start with curving up and around and trying to follow or mirror what I did on this side with the right side, but again, imperfection is welcome. And then I'm just going in and cleaning up this bottom edge over here and maybe making the side a little fatter. Adding in some color for wet and wet. So it's not all the same. Then let's do golden first. So it's a little gradient. I'm gonna actually add in a just yellow ochre um, with a touch of this shell green. For my next stroke, we're gonna follow the curve of the green and go just like about a quarter inch away from it so that there's some white space. But if we touch it, that is okay. So just turning the brush. Fun colors already. And then we'll do a bright, bright yellow next, or the red next. Visualize it in my mind. I wanna do the bright yellow first. So I've got the handle up first and then down. fun. And then our red will just be a little sliver, a little peak. Might over overlap the, the yellow a little bit. Fun. Perfect little wobbly rainbow. I think this is awesome for a little kid's room, a nursery, or bathroom, wherever, hang it up. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please comment below with which of the two was your favorite to watch me paint or for you to paint yourself if you painted them. I hope you did. And if you did paint these, let me know in the comments below where you hung them up. Maybe you gave them to a friend or you put them up in your bathroom or your bedroom. Let me know. I would love to see you guys. If you are on Instagram, tag me at Jenna Rainey. If you do decide to hang these up in your home, would love to see your work going up in your home. As always, thanks so much for watching our videos and I'll see you in the next one.